Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we analyze the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, bring um, interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunke. Yes, that's me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hi. Hi. Good. How are you doing, well. darling? <laughs> Why are you How laughing? Are you? No intro for her today. It's the hair fully done. So yeah, like, it is. Oh my god, I forgot. Yeah, you I feel my oh finally Elsie, fully done hair. Scream. Come, let's let's pull it up, girl. <laughs> okay, no, so now can you guys tell me the female joke because I still don't get it. Uh, what is is I was questioning my done, hair. I didn't done. do some mm. parts. So I just kiss it. Oh, and now I'm done. I've done everything. But how come I didn't notice that? It wasn't I hit so it well, known. yeah. Oh. It's, 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 that's, that, that's the problem. She exposed me. So you did this me. yourself? No, she exposed yeah. herself on I do Twitter. Want myself. I, but she brought how, it to how TV. How though? How do you do How do I do my hair myself? I don't know. How do you learn that? Is it like... YouTube. Like, you learn everything on these days on YouTube. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah. So... Enough Can I learn how to fall in love with you over <laughs> YouTube? Um, so moving on to <laughs> the very important stories. Abel Oshodairo, one of Jesse Smollett's alleged attackers, calls on Chicago Police Department officials to return his personal belongings. In a new court document obtained by P TMZ, Abel demanded the return of a number of items that were seized when cops searched his home following the incident. The items include a black ski mask, a red hat, two firearms, two iPhones, and a script from Empire. Okay. <laughs> so, this one is really kind of um, twisted because... Um, the case is still ongoing, it's not concluded, and you're already asking for personal items. And mm. then it just makes me feel like, are you hiding something? Like, is there something you don't want them to discover? So you want Label. all those things, yeah, like, mm. so you want all those things back real quick. But also, thinking about it, if I know that... What is that 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 going to do to <laughs> Shall you put it as a host? Like... No, and then at the end of the day, if I know that I'm totally... No, that's why I said that it's twisted. If I know that I'm totally innocent, it's more like, why are you guys holding my stuff when I yeah, need Yeah, I can't buy another one. They never <laughs> say they are totally innocent. Because, I see, yeah, this story is weird from day one, even when we are looking at it from the attack. Remember, they said um, they actually um, planned it with Juicy to mm. attack him. Mm. So what is the consequences of planning? Yeah. Um, such attack with him, and then basically you you're all were in. You're an accessory. You're an accessory to stage. So I don't understand right. them and I don't having get them the and then letting from, them go. From the empire that he wants back, like he <laughs> doesn't want to reenact the scene. So wait, is Jesse saying that he was attacked, but wasn't attacked by those guys? He doesn't know. He said he doesn't know. He doesn't know he's attacked. Oh, so Abel are the ones that are saying that. Where the is ones the that police that investigated, according to them, that they went to Abel's house, um, their house, and saw they saw them there. They saw yeah. them buying the hearts. They saw them buying they the saw, ski The only mask. thing they saw is buying the heart and the things that and the um, um, Justice said were used to attack him. And so ropes they, and they have that. not even placed them in the crime scene. Right or at the crime scene. So. My dear, see this case. So they saw him buying and it. And that, because uh, the reason they I'm have close relationship with uh, the Jersey. reason I was asking is because of why they released them so early. Because it could be that he was attacked, right? Because you know it's hearsay, and I always like to give each person. It could be that they actually attacked him, and he didn't even know that they were attacking him, and then they pinned it on him that no, you hired me yeah. to attack you. So That's that possibility is there. Yeah, why they released them so early someone? because you can't hold people against your right until they're proven guilty. So obviously, if they have good lawyers, they're going to be let out, and the case is still ongoing. So, do you so why if I they this still case find is ex extensively unconclusive. So if they still find them guilty, they'll still go to jail. It doesn't mean justice delayed is not justice denied. So they, they find who guilty. The brothers. The Oshundaira brothers. So would that mean that um, um, Jesse is right, or it would mean that they, he collaborated which is, with them? Which is uh, which is, is which is now. almost impossible for Jesse to be right. But um, I, why, if he was really attacked by the people he knows, but didn't actually? We all pay. know Jesse was not attacked. Jesse, we that, all know. Well, okay, me and the people around me know that Jesse was not attacked. <laughs> you say the darnest things. Mm. But it's just the truth. He said the darnest thing. Did you watch that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, but, but we all know. Those that know the true story know that. So Joss what is, is the true story? Tell if us. It, it's a possibility. Like it's a possibility, parties. but it is like... If it's over, do you know it is possible? I mean, we are talking about possibilities now. I mean, what if I said it's possible that these two people decided to attack him? Heike. 
and they when they were know that the caught, case, the case say, keeps I mean, we getting have a relationship twisted. With you, know, you know, one yeah, of the Oshundaira oh. brothers is said to be. We all know that um, Jossie is gay, right? And uh, one of the Oshundaira brothers is also said to be gay, and so they it could also be a have a relationship. It could be a love exactly, issue. Could be so that's that a motive. You wanted, you wanted to pay back. Yeah. Why would you break up with me? Mm -hmm. Because just just is too fine. This is fine. It was all gay, and you know. So why are you guys making her for a gay man? I don't get it. Man. Still not a man. <laughs> he doesn't really have any interest in <laughs> you. Young game. There's straight men that okay. we pick our hair for that don't have interest in us. Yeah. So, so. that's okay. Just in case you're watching. Okay, let's move on to women empowerment. Token Mackin what advises women to seek financial freedom. A part of her lengthy message read, and I quote, Dear women, or dear woman, I see you, you rock. Keep raising the bar. Keep shattering the ceiling. Keep pushing that envelope. Financial freedom is a must for us women. Being able to do for yourself certainly has to be the goal. It is nice to have help. It's nice to come from wealth, but it is important to raise women to believe that wealth is not gender base um she went on to say and i quote again start that business write that plan um save a little here and there stay ready a day called change can visit any day now opportunities are there open your eyes value relationships faith it till you make it speak it dream it do it end of quotes mm -hmm. preach sis found like the write-up <laughs> was beautiful um if you have any brain you would gain so much from mm. that woman or man I also like, I don't know if you read that because you, you <laughs> I'm not sure now, but I like the part where she said, um, even if you were born into money, mm -hmm. you still have to hustle to make that. So it doesn't stop with you mm -hmm. and then you can um, give it to your, obviously your children and everything. And I really appreciated um, that as well because then everybody in, that's sitting on the table can learn something. Away from the good stuff though. I was looking for the box. Away mm. from all the good write-up. Sis, I followed... Her, I've seen, I've been able to see that she talks a lot about finances and making it and doing this and doing. And there's a lot of other people on the table that do that as well. Um, an example on my top of my mind is Linda Ikeji. I remember when she made a video tour of her mm. house. This was way before Takemakiwa was even in the scene. But a lot of this, a lot of the times, these women actually tell us what they're doing, not in total like their business plan, but they tell us the source. Like, listen, when you get this opportunity, don't stop there. You get She's your no AP, man. Do a, do, She's doing exactly what you uh, do. Mm -hmm. And the <laughs> <laughs> it matches it matches the lifestyle. You know, if they have side businesses, it'll tell you, bruh, I have side businesses and this and this and that and this. Talking about Kimwan, for someone who talks so much about money and empowerment it's and not putting talks money really well, why not why we're not seeing your like your source like that. Like, I know it's one of my business or whatever, but it's just uh, observation shop. She's an OAP like he said. She hosts events. She's an actor now. Compare. She, yeah, compare, right? And then she, she has a beauty business. Nice. That's she uh, has is it the lipstick and thing. all? Okay, that that one was just launching coronavirus, so I cannot say that one has made money. Handbag. But the handbag, mm. um, the Tokyo brand, was it? Was it called TM? Mm. TM the brand. And fake she, she influences too. So you being an influencer can actually give you some form of money, you know. Uh, Yes, it does. To an extent, if you if you think about hosting, um, like I know Ted Dollar is having a birthday party and it's sees a which are Ted Dollar relax now and it's sees and it's sees a token. You don't know these things. You don't oh, know those private parties that these mm, people go host. to host. Yeah. Do you understand? And they get paid millions. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And then you get to meet people that are willing to help you. Like I've always said, these things women have a better opportunity of doors being opened up for them it's not about sleeping with men now it's not about selling your body the fact that you're a woman and you're hard working as a man you you, you feel the need to help a woman even way more than that let's so not if forget you have that there's solid... also the opportunity of being gifted things by your admirer exactly let's not take that so away, if you have if thing. you have a solid business idea and you walk up to a man and you tell him it's, it will be easier for a woman to get it than a man with that same but thing. I, no, no, I hear you and I get what you're saying, but I don't think that's what she's saying. She's not coming... Well, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think... Ifama is not saying... Um, 
she's no, she making can't. her money illegitimately. No, no, no she's no, saying course, that if you're talking this much about wealth before next month runs out, Dr. Makima will tell That's us how it's like, important like to part. be financially stable, right? Why not just give us some practical tips? that have worked for you. It's not necessarily, I mean, you're a woman, I'm a woman, I understand these things. You can wake up one day and one man decides to say, today I feel like dashing in five million naira, and it's good. That is one of the advantages of being a woman and a pretty one at that, whether you agree or not. Mm. But the fact that you are doing business and you claim always that this business is booming, is lucrative, you're selling out, maybe you should also come out to give us some tips, practical tips that would help. I think that's what she's trying to yeah. say. But she, I think she said it all. She said opportunities are everywhere open. If there's nothing she has said that we have not read anywhere else from. I, I could write that even without owning any property. I'm saying papa. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to diss yourself? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying, no, it's, it's true. You, you don't want to mix that up with tips. That's not all we're talking about. She gave a great motivational speech. There's a lot of people who can do that. But to follow through, a good example for me is Michelle Obama. She's somebody that has done quite, like has achieved quite a lot. Like her success looks like a lot. And it, it starts to question, it starts to be questioned, like, apart from just being a first uh, first lady, what else? Why are you so, like, for such a black, her story and everything, and she has poured everything out. Not everything in total, like her business plan and her diary, but it's very clear. Now, even, even how she has milked the opportunities that she's gotten, and she's told us about the opportunities that she has gotten. At Linda, I keep mentioning, because I don't really like that, She's she made blogger. money from blogging, per se, actually. but she yeah, made, and, but, she and made even how she made yeah. the money from blogging, it wasn't just as simple as saying, guys, I blog. She said, no, the opportunity that the blogging platform gave her, she did A, she did B, she did C, she did D, and she's doing, she's even trying to do a lot more collaborations and endorsements and mm. things. Like, she's quite clear Open about things it. like that. I can't, I still, tomorrow, I cannot but say, like oh, she got her money from this source. But I can tell that, okay, this is the type of industry she's working in, and this is the level of her soul also that she does. I just feel like for somebody who tries to really motivate women and really take our hands and lead us into this but path like, of like financial Elsie, CM, uh, freedom, she should give us a lot more insights is what I'm saying. But like Elsie said, um, to be a pretty woman, you can get gifts from your admirers. You don't expect a token market to say, oh, governor, this gave me... To 20 million naira. I also like where me. she said that is, like, your time is your time. So you could achieve this at 20. She did have at 35, which she also made us know it is not her first property. Yeah. But it's her dream home, right? So she did have at 35. You could do yours at 50, 40, 20. She even said there are people who have more than what she has now and they're way, um, she's way older than them. So she acknowledged that and just know that this is your own journey. You're not in competition with anyone. Just um, take it easy. Good right up. Look for those. I've got the yeah. tips. She's not giving you the tips. Yeah. And, you know, move on. I think it just boils down to everybody looking for the opportunities within their sectors, wherever mm. it is you work. Look for what works for you. How mm. can I double my yeah. my mm. hustle, hustle based on what yeah. I do? Yeah. So there, there are opportunities in everything you do. Mm. So you just have to find the right and position yourself in the right. Be strategic about it. We and I think she's been really yeah. strategic about it. Okay.